Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm with Reality Flex Studios, and this is part three of my tutorial to create a flashlight that runs on batteries and drains and everything like that. Okay, so continuing from the last one, I forgot to make this point light a part of the flashlight prefab so that it rem it disappears when you pick it up. So all I did, all I'm doing is dragging that onto the flashlight, and then it becomes a child. And then now when we run it, go over to it, it picks up, and the light disappears along with the model. Okay, and now let's do the battery. Let's create a battery, out, or a prefab out of this battery. Uh, I'm going to lower the scale factor to 0 0.01. Bring it into the scene. Okay, maybe 0 0.01 was a little bit too small. Not a problem. We'll just make it 15 for X, Y, and Z on the scale. Another way you could have done that was press R and go like that, and you can scale it up and down. Okay, I press W and I will move a little bit closer to the flashlight. And this one didn't import with the texture, so I'm going to take this in the textures folder. I'm going to take the battery diff and drag it onto it. And then now, well, if there's light, you would be able to see that it has like a silver top and it's textured and everything. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to create a prefab out of it by dragging it down into the project folder and the prefab project folder. Okay, and this is what it looks like textured. So it does have a little uh, different look than just one solid color. And that's the thanks to Patrick Griffiths for modeling it and Joe Kravoski for texturing it and Joe also made and textured the flashlight and their names and and everything will be in the description as well okay so for the battery we're gonna add the pickup script and we're gonna set the item to battery we're gonna add a component physics box collider and for some reason that's way too big normally it would put the box like perfectly around that uh, model but not to worry all we have to do is a little tweaking I set the size to point 0.1 all the way around and then okay that's on the ground and on the center we're gonna move it up just a tad What I'm doing to recenter the camera is pressing F with it selected and it it moves the camera. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
So now that's a collider around the the mesh, and we got a click uh, is trigger, and because of all the code, the logic is there to say if it's a flashlight or if it's a battery, it will increment the battery count, and on the HUD, it will display the battery count. So it should. When we play it, we have zero batteries, pick up the flashlight, it shows up, up here, go over the battery, it disappears, the battery count increments. All right. Now, the next part. Okay, we also want to give an ambient light to the battery so we can kind of see where they are from afar, even without our... Uh, flashlight, so we're also going to do another point light. We're going to child it to the battery. And then one cool thing about if you child it to the battery and you go to reset position, it puts it at the base of whatever it's a child of. So again, I'm going to reduce the intensity and the range. And then I'm going to check it out in the editor. Okay, so we can kind of see it, and we don't need the flashlight uh, to be on necessarily to see it. Okay, so now that we have those, oh, and then let's apply that so that when we bring out multiple batteries, they all have an ambient light. Okay, and now on to the flashlight class. So to start here, we're going to have some variables up top. We're going to have a public static float battery life. And you'll remember that from the HUD class. We're going to have a public light. It's a light object, I'm going to call it headlight. And then we're going to have a public float battery reduction speed. I'm going to start that off at 3. And you need the point zero and the F to say that it's a float. And then I'm going to get rid of this. And then in the void awake method we're going to do let's see we're going to make sure the headlight is disabled headlight enable equals false when it first starts up and then in the update method all the fun stuff happens Okay, so we're going to check if headlight enabled, if it's enabled, if it is enabled, we're going to drain the battery life. So the battery life equals battery life minus the quantity battery reduction speed times time dot delta time. And delta time is the measurement in between frames and it's fractions, like tiny, tiny fractions of a second. And there's 30 frames, usually 30 frames minimum per second. So it's going to take that tiny, tiny time, that, that float value, multiply it by the reduction speed variable, which starts off at 3, and then subtract that from battery life. So it's going to reduce every frame, but it's such a minuscule amount that it, it reduces slowly. And that's how you get stuff to slowly reduce over time. Otherwise, if we just said subtract one, battery, battery life equals battery life minus one, that's running every frame because it's an update method and it would be done in like two seconds. Okay, and I can see I am 
just about at my limit, so we will continue this right away on the next video.